Hi everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and today for Tech Tip episode 12, we'll be talking about regex. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about regex, or regular expressions. Uh, for those of you who don't know already, regular expressions are a way to match specific patterns and strings. Um, you know, how we do this usually, uh, or what we use this for, or at least in my case, is uh, for signature creation. Um, you know, setting up that PCRE, uh, but this could also be used in scripting or programming. Uh, regex is very powerful, um, and I'm sure you'll find several uses for it if you haven't already. Uh, so, purposes today is to show you the basics of regex, um, and not really getting into the advanced stuff. But I'll show you, um, you know, once you get the basics down, how easy it is to get to, uh, you know, where you want to get to. Uh, so for this demo, I've uh, of course running Backtrack as always. Um, you'll notice that I have Eclipse um, and PyDev, which is a Python IDE, um, up here. This just makes it easier for me to show you the regex strings and how they work. Um, don't you don't necessarily need to use Python or anything and what you're seeing over here, this coding is not necessarily important either. Uh, this is just the code that it takes to um, you know, pull in a file with some certain strings in it so that I can then run some regex value or uh, search against that string for demonstration purposes. So yeah, don't be too concerned about the Python portion. If you don't know Python, that's fine. Uh, you don't need it to do regex. You can uh, you know, just do it in your normal word editors, such as uh, uh, Notepad++. But to walk you through, if you are familiar with Python, what I've done here is just importing the regex, or regular expressions, uh, library. Then I'm doing an import to pull in a text file that I have some sample data in. I'm setting the string to null, and then I'm importing that text file and uh, concatenating that string for each line in that text file. I'm printing off the string, which you see here. And then I'm doing, um, I'm using that RE, uh, regular expressions library, to uh, define what I'm going to search. And then uh, down here, I'm doing some, uh, a, a quick little if statement. To, if I find something, print what I found. If I don't, nothing found. So. Uh, this is invalid regex, so when I go ahead and run this, and over here is the console, this would be the same as me, um, you know, just opening up a shell and running this uh, regex script that I have. Um, but it just makes it easier to display by having this up here on both sides. Alright, so with that out of the way, um, it, regex is a way to, um, again, just to find patterns in text. So, or in strings. So let's just bring up gedit real quick so I can kind of explain to you. So if you take, for instance, um, let's go with a standard name, Bob. Uh, we'll go with Bob Smith. If I was trying to find uh, Bob Smith, I could do it in, in several different ways in regex. You'll notice over here, I've kind of given you a key of the different ways to do this. But let's just talk about the first one here, which is slash w. So slash w in regex says a word character. A word character is a through z, 0 through 9. Um, doesn't include punctuation or spaces. So if I say slash w here, that would take care of that b in Bob. So if I wanted to match the entire uh, the entire string there, or the entire first name, I would do slash w slash w again. Now to carry this space, I would do a slash s for a space, and then I would do slash w slash w slash w slash w slash w to grab all these. So you say, oh, all right, that might be a little weird to do, right? So instead of handling that way, I could instead say slash w plus 
and that'll do right here. So slash W plus will um, give me Bob because it's going to do any character, uh, any one word character or greater. So I don't think I'm explaining that right, but one character or more is going to display with uh, with plus. If I did star zero or more, um, obviously it doesn't take into effect here. But so I could do W plus, then do my space, and then do W plus again. So that would give me Bob Smith. But if this is a sentence, it is an awesome dude. This would match a lot of things in here, right? So word characters, space, word characters, space, word characters, space, word characters. So of course we want to get more specific for what we're trying to find, um, you know, specifically. So if, say we wanted only uh, a word character that had three characters in it. We can then throw the curly braces up there and say three. If we wanted a word character there that was one, two, three, uh, a one, two, three, or four, let's say, we would do one dash or a comma four. So that gives us our range there. So let's do this in a more interactive way. So here you're kind of seeing um, me telling you what it is here, but let's actually try to match this against some stuff. So let's go ahead to my example file. So the example string is here. So example.txt, and this is what it prints out to. To show you, this is it here. Hi, my name is Ian, enormous. My number is 555-555-555. My address is 123 Internet Lane, period. Um, and then I just threw another phone number in here um, just to give us something else to look at. So that's what this string is. So when I run this program, nothing found because I have no regex to find here. So say we wanted to pull out um, E enormous. Right? And we know, you know specifically what that's going to be. In uh, Python, I have to put everything in between um, the quotes. Depending on what language you're working with, you may or may not have to do that. Sorry, and then we don't want to do it down up there. We're doing it down here. So, so E enormous. So we look at the characters one by one. So the first character is a one. That's a digit. So I'm going to put a slash D there. And then I'm going to say the next character is a, a an A. So, so we're going to do a slash W because that's a word character. Now, one is a word character as well, but more specifically it's a digit, so I'm just using digit here. So then we have, again, um, a particular word character. We have N. And then we have a digit again. And then we have a word character, a word character, M, U, and S. Right? So we could do this, and this should pull E enormous, right? So string found E enormous. But we could do this with less as well by saying word plus and word plus here. And we find E enormous still. So, uh, so, so this is, you know, there's many ways to skin a cat in, in regex. So this is, you know, one method of pulling out, you know, this particular thing that we want to pull out. So say instead we want to grab um, the number or a particular number. So now we start getting into characters that aren't digits or or word characters. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and delete this regex here. And let's say we want to pull out from this whole thing, this whole line of text, I just want to pull a, my phone number. So we're going to say a, a number is a slash digit range 
three characters slash. Um, so we could do a slash dash here, or we could do a dot. A dot means any character. And I didn't explain all these yet, so I should probably just go through here real quick. So slash w is a word character. Um, a capital W is not word character. So when you start seeing D, capital D, the D is always the not of whatever that value is. Uh, so D is digit. Um, S is space slash s capital s not space so um, say there is something we'll get into URLs later but we, we you'll have to escape some kind of some some characters if they're um, it, characters that could be used in an actual expression on um, a dot itself is any character except a slash n or a new line piping will give us a, an or so we can start um, you know, applying a little bit of logic in here and of course the curly bracers are range. Now this is not all of the different syntax that can be used. There's plenty more and there's a few cheat sheets out there if you do a Google search real quick on that. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, but you know, check it out. These should be able to get you uh, far enough though. So a slash d3 and we could do a dot or we could actually just put the dash in. Now because, um, well actually dash isn't a character we'd have to escape, but say this was uh, you know, a carrot or something, then I would want to escape it. But we could actually put the dash right in there. But for our sake we're just going to put a dot, which means any character. Then we're going to do a slash d range of three again, so exactly three. Dot again, and then a slash D with a range of four. So if we've done everything right here, and I think we have, this should give us a phone number. Exactly. All right, so five, 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 five. So again, three digits, three digits, any character, any character, three digits, three digits, any character, any character, and uh, four characters. All right, so you may be wondering why we only uh, found this first phone number when we obviously have two phone numbers in this document. So same structure, should have found it three digits, any character, three digits, any character, four digits, right? Um, well, and that's because that's just the way regex works. Regex is looking for the first string it matches, and when it finds that first string, it's going to let you know, hey, that string was found. Um, so the first time it matches the pattern, it tells you. Now, there's ways around that, of course. Uh, for instance, with this uh, library that I imported, I could do a find all here instead of a redot search. I could do a redot find all and then create a little uh, for loop real quick and that loop would go through the string and then list out each time it finds it and then list out every instance that it finds but that's not necessary here but just you know be aware of that um, so this should give you a good uh, understanding of the basics here and just to show you some you know real life examples um, let's go to a different file that I have so I believe it's called test Let's run that real quick okay so here in test are three things that I uh, had to recently create signatures for so to walk you through how you normally do this of course I added some junk to the beginning just so we could uh, you know, have some fun matching this uh, but uh, some of you may recognize this as the uh, black hole x white kit 2 but this is some specific things that have been noticed with this particular uh, variant, right? So, got to create signatures for these. How would I go about doing that? So, you go through the normal signature creation process. You're, you're going to, uh, of course, probably use Snort and use Match on URI since these are all URI based and all that fun stuff. But let's just talk about the regex right now. So, let's go ahead and delete this. And 
let's say we want to match on um, this guy here. Um, now, I didn't have to do that for the signature that I was creating because this is never going to change, right? So I can put specific values in because um, there's no uh, there was no method where this was going to uh, be modified at all. So uh, what you can do is and let's match from the forward slash to the dot PHP. Okay, so I'm going to escape out the forward slash. And then I can actually just straight out type forum, because again, it's not going to change. So I could have done word uh, w plus there if I wanted to, um, or, or something like along those lines, but not necessary. So now again, we're going to escape out the forward slash, and I can again just type links straight up, and escape out the forward slash again. And of course, we know column slash dot um, and the reason we're doing a slash dot here is because dot is any character right slash dot is the actual period itself um, PHP so if we've done this right this should match on forum link column that PHP so let's show you with with this one because now there's some randomization involved so as you can see, the uh, it's always going to have this structure where it's forum, themes, core, images. That's always going to stay the same, but the exe is going to randomize. So I want my string to flag no matter what, as long as it's a uh, exe in this structure. So we can actually keep the form there, and we'll start from there because we're going to match from the slash form on. All right, so slash forum. Um, so we skip that or forward slash again. And again, we can straight out type themes because that's not changing. If this was just going to be some random five character thing, we could, of course, do our w5, right? We could do that, but it's not. In this scenario, it's going to be themes. And we're going to escape out our forward slash again, do core, escape out forward slash again, images, escape out forward slash again, and here's where we have to do something random, right? So we know it's going to be word characters. So again, word characters A through Z and, or uh, 0 through 9. And then we know there's going to be a period, so we're going to escape out our period because, again, just the dot by itself is any character and we're going to say um, dot exe because we're looking for specifically dot exe now we could make this any three character extension if we wanted to but for our purposes here it's dot exe that we're looking for so let's run this hopefully I've matched that correctly nothing found all right but so let's see where we screwed up here so we did our forward slash form then we did our forward slash themes and it is case sensitive forward slash core forward slash images images oh <laughs> forward slash and I forgot to uh, uh, throw the backslash w so this is looking for the actual characters w plus right now so if I putting this backslash in here now, I'm telling it to look for word characters plus, so one or more word characters. And then slash dot, so this should work. All right, so there we go. Now we have our thing. All right, so um, that gives you the basics of regex, and uh, hopefully that gives you a good understanding of, of what is going on there and how you can proceed to use the language or use the uh, syntax for yourself. Um, to show you where I'm using it recently and why it's become uh, something I wanted to show you is because I've been creating a, a script. Um, and here I'll quickly show you what it does. So creating a script to do you know, something I do every day, right? Uh, suspicious IP pops up or suspicious 
<laughs> suspicious URL pops up and that I want to look up more information on, right? I want to get who is information. I want to get, uh, you know, does that IP resolve to any other domains? Is it blacklisted? Stuff like that. So I wrote this little program, uh, this Python script, to start looking up those stuff. Uh, I didn't finish it yet. I haven't got everything. As you can see, I only got some of it. But just to give you a quick demo, and right now it's looking for whatever I put in here. Um, but when I uncomment the raw input out, it would you know, ask you to input an IP. So when I run this, oh, let's actually run this one, not the other one. You run automator. There we go. So you can see when I'm running, it's looking up this IP address. And it finds that this IP address is associated with these domains. It is listed in one blacklist here. And uh, the I ISP for that IP is server boost BV. So how am I doing this? So I'm using Python, of course, and I'm using two libraries. So I'm using HTTP lib2, which allows me to download uh, and manipulate and uh, you know, do whatever I want to with URLs, right? And then I have RE, which is the regex library, which I was just showing you over here in the regex script. So what I'm doing is pulling down uh, for this portion, um, querying Rob text for whatever IP input, IP input is here, doing a git request for it, and then taking that and converting it into a string. And then I run this regex value against it. So I'm looking for um, a space bracket, uh, any character, 1 to 20 character, or, or at 1 to 20 characters in length. And then these right here are used to pull out the specific information I want, right? So I don't want the um, HTML tags, but I want to match on the HTML tags. But this means I'm only going to display what's in between here. So I'm not trying to get too deep into it. And then, of course, down here, you'll see that I'm um, using some forever large regex strings to pull out stuff from IP void. And then here are some of the other strings I was playing around with earlier to get the specific stuff I wanted to pull out. So very interesting stuff. Um, if this uh, or any of this is stuff that you want to see more of, let me know, of course. And if you want to um, you know, get access to this code, let me know, and I'll find a way to make that happen. Um, so like always, go to techdefense.com if you want to see more like this. Uh, you can hit me up at enormous at techdefense.com if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. View more of my videos at securitytube.net slash user slash enormous or YouTube slash user techdefense. I will uh, add the examples at techdefense.com so you can see you know, each one of these that we went through. I'll show you what we were trying to find in the regex string to actually find that. And um, I will also make that Python script available uh, the regex one and this automator if if that's something people ask for so thanks and have a good one bye